everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic inspiration card reading for July 4th, 2023. We have aquamarine communication. This is something that so many problems happen from miscommunication. This can also be something that people use as um, brushing off a problem. Oh, it was just miscommunication. And that's, no, it was manipulation, right? So we're trying to purify our communications. Look at where... You know, a lot of us are forced to sort of play a game, especially with our communication, okay? Um, being careful about what you're saying, having to walk on eggshells, all of that. Now, when we talk about aquamarine, this is angelic communication as well. There are lots of crystals that you can use to get in touch with that frequency of your guardian angels, especially an aquamarine is one of those. So this might be a time if you're feeling... Um, like I'm not being heard, I'm not being understood, I have a hard time finding my voice, or people are using gossip. Gossip is a form of communication. If people are gossiping behind your back, not that you want to take that in, but you could talk to your angels and say, hey, this is unjust. Here's a powerful thing to do. Make sure you share this with others. There's the return to sender that we can do with no harm to the other person, highest good of everyone involved. We're just not taking the energy. We're just going to send it back. There's also asking the universe to heal the situation. Heal and balance the situation. Now, what does that look like? That looks like if someone, let's go with the gossip example. If someone's gossiping about you, they're slandering your name. They're just jealous. They just kind of feel like they're in control of something because they don't like themselves. Whatever their deal is, okay? And you find out about it and it hurts you and you can feel your energy being drained. You just have a heart to heart with the universe and say, can you come in and correct the situation? Balance this situation. It does not come with any intention for revenge or to get them or you being a victim. Nothing. We're both on our soul's contracts. We're both in this moment. This is an energetic exchange. Universe, for the highest good of everyone involved, please come in. And balance out this situation, correct this situation, anything, you know, whatever needs to be done for there to be harmony. Now, more often than not, if you're dealing with someone who has a dark energy in them and you do a return to sender or you do a healing of the situation with the universe, the nature of who we are, you'll see who was really having the bad intentions. Because even though we say for the highest good of everyone involved, people are still um, sort of scrambled by their own energy when it gets sent back to them. So this is that sort of thing like you I want to be careful with this because I don't I don't want this to be the intention for anybody. But like I've done a return to sender on someone and, and an equalizing of the situation. I was not intending for anything bad to happen to anybody that was not. But it was their own energy that was building up on them. And they got into a car accident. Um, not bad, but just it happened. It was a wake-up call. Um, somebody else lost their job that they never thought that they would ever lose. I did not do that to them. Okay, if you said they're going, oh my God, you Brit <laughs> No, I didn't. They did it to themselves. I just asked for harmony. Now, if in the example of someone gossiping about you and slandering your name, if you uh, heal that situation doesn't have to be as dramatic those situations were dramatic because those people had very bad intentions and it showed okay that's how we see it but if someone's been gossiping and they're just like insecure and that's why you might find that they come up to you and you say you know what I haven't been fair to you I am so sorry I don't know I just when I see you accomplishing so much it makes me feel bad about myself but it's wouldn't that be nice if everybody were that big of a person to come back and admit their you know what what they've done but, you know, it doesn't always have to play out. Sometimes the equalizing is um, clearer communication comes from it, right? And you get to know where each one was coming from. So it really just depends on the parties involved, what kind of energy they're working with. But you always have the right to protect your energy. I don't care what anybody's got to say. This whole thing of empaths are just supposed to take it on the chin, let people beat you up. No, that, no. You have a job to do. You need to preserve your energy. We don't want to be cruel to anybody. We don't want 
you know, ill intent towards anybody, but you have every right to protect yourself. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.